Good morning, world. Good morning, internet friends. Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Anxiety when sleep is not your friend. We've been adding on to the list all day today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Sassy's doing sleep. Riddler, how you doing? Riddler's doing I am waiting for little brother to come back. And little brother's probably downstairs getting water. I'm so tired. Little bit woke up at like 2 in the morning. I couldn't get back to sleep till about 3. Then woke up at 6 and then 7. And I am so tired. Doesn't help I haven't had my Ambien in the past couple nights, so it's extremely hard for me to fall back asleep. And then my brain's like, let's think of everything under the sun. I'm just like, well, great. So, I'm really tired. And I'm probably, right after I record this, I'm going to take a nap. So, there you go. That's the morning right now. So, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey guys, there's my hand. And there's baby Emeril. He's snuggling and sleeping. There's Mr. Riddler. And Sassy. It seems like a lazy Sunday afternoon type of day. Yeah. You cannot. My eye is itchy. Anyway. Um. So. I felt really bad about this morning. I got really, like, frustrated over stuff with the baby. Um. I think it didn't help that I wasn't able to sleep very well, but my parents are going to be picking up my medicine for me, so yay, I can actually sleep tonight, I think. Yay! <laughs> um, and then, of course, he had both a pee and poop accident in the house, which I know it's my fault because I was asleep and didn't pay attention to him needing to go outside. But speaking of going outside... It is raining outside, and I'm amazed. He, like Riddler, he doesn't like going out in the rain. He also doesn't like cold weather, which I'm assuming is because of his short hair. But this little man, he just runs out in the rain like it's no big deal. I just have to towel him dry when he gets back in because his fur will get all wet. Won't it, buddy? He doesn't care. He's fast asleep. I want to try to do an Instagram live video, but I'll wait probably until he's awake so that people can actually see him better. Because otherwise they're just going to see him and my chest, and that would be awkward. <laughs> but yeah, this is literally how our Sunday's been. The dog's played for a while, and now little bit is napping. So, yeah, it's a good time. Oh, there's also one other thing that I thought was good. Oh, well, bye, Riddler. Riddler has left. <gasps> good morning, baby boy. Emeril, good morning. You want to say good morning to the internet friends? Say no, I'll go back to sleep. Such a sweet boy. Squish. Um, if I sit on the floor, he automatically gets in my lap, which is good. I'm really glad that he does that. Because he's going to have to do that eventually for DPT anyways. So, yay. There's so many qualities that I want that I want for a psychiatric service dog that he automatically does. And I hope he keeps that throughout his life. I'm really impressed with that. Which right now, he wouldn't be able to do much for DPT. Because he probably... If he's gained weight, probably maybe at the most 11 pounds, which isn't much... But he'll grow to be 105 pounds, so I think he'll be fine. And if you're concerned about why I said about him gaining weight, a problem that we're having with him is the dogs stealing his food, mainly Riddler. Sassy, I don't, she hasn't ever tried to get his food. Um, we've switched Riddler to the puppy child that Emerald's on because... He was itchy for a while, and I think he's starting to not itch anymore. But Riddler keeps stealing his food. Like, I'll tell him leave it, and he will sit there and stare at it. Because he's weird. Oh, my nose itches. Just... 
Did I sneeze, puppy? This is how he is with weird sounds. Like, if he hears something new, he'll just put his head up like, what? And then be like, okay, I'm going back to sleep. He's so chill. But, um, anyway. So, I mean, I feed him frequently throughout the day. And he'll also be like, he'll eat some and then he'll walk off. And then he'll come back. But I can't leave his bowl alone like I can with Riddler and Sassy because Riddler will steal it. So, I feel like he's gained some weight. He feels heavier. But we'll find out this week. Because I think this week we go for his next set of shots. It's either this week or next week. I want to call the vet tomorrow and see. So. And I mean, if he hasn't gained weight, we'll get that figured out. I mean, he's clearly not a starving puppy. He's good. Oh, did I tickle you? Did I tickle my baby? <laughs> Where are you going? He's such a weird dog, but I love him. So now we'll probably just stay here and chill for a little bit, and I'll check back in with you later. MRL? MRL? Hey, come here. Yes, sit. Yes. Down. MRL? Down. Down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. MRL? Stay. Yes. Emeril, leave it. No. Le wait. Eh. Wait. Wait. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. All right. You ready, Emeril? Let's see if you remember this one we just learned today. MRL. MRL. Focus. Someone's got the hiccups. MRL. <whistles> MRL. Focus. Hey. Focus. I know. It's very distracting when brother is screaming outside. MRL! MRL! Come! Come here! Yes, good boy! Sit! Ready? Focus! Come on, buddy! You just... You started getting it! MRL! Hey! MRL! Focus! MRL! MRL! MRL. MRL. Focus. Yes! Good boy! There you go! Yeah! Such a good boy! Such a good boy! Mm. <laughs> Well, hello. Hello there. You're trying to find those cookies again, aren't you? You little brat. You're a brat. Hi, Emerel. See, he's jealous because I kept him out of the room while I was training Emerel because he would keep trying to steal the cookies. And I want Emerel to at least have a good grasp on his tap. Not his tasks, his um, core skills before I have him being distracted. Because this one is a huge distraction, aren't you? Yep. And walk away. Well, hello. <coughs> Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Hey, go get it. Go get the rope. 
Well, wrong one. Uh -uh. Leave it. Leave it. MRL. Leave it. Wow. There you go, bud. That's better. You're a rotten child. Don't bite me either. Cheater. Leave it. Leave it. Hey guys, so there's Mr. Riddler, um, MRL and Sassy are downstairs with my parents, and I came upstairs for a little bit, just wanted to be alone for a minute. I'm not feeling that great. Um, I guess a combination of being tired and feeling like I am failing at everything to do with my puppy is just bringing me into a depressive episode, which is not good. So, I felt so dumb. So we've not let him go on grass because the breeder is very, very paranoid about Parvo and it can live in grass for up to two years. And she said that he needs to complete his shots before then. So, a problem he's been having is running out onto the grass when he needs to go potty. And we've just had him doing it on the driveway. Um, so my parents were like, go ahead and put him on a leash. We finally found Riddler's old collar that has foxes on it. And got him in a collar, which he needed to be in a collar anyway. So we can slowly start leash training. And he, I took him out on the leash. And that, that sucked terribly. Um... Because I knew he had to go potty. Because he nearly pooped in the living room. Um, he was assuming the position. And I grabbed him and took him outside. But he wouldn't go outside. He was focused on grabbing the leash. Pulling on it. Like moving in circles. Doing alligator rolls. Whatever. He was not happy. And that was getting me frustrated. Because we were outside. He wouldn't go potty. It's freezing cold outside. And I'm trying to make him leave it. Like, whenever I ask him to take his mouth off something, it's usually leave it. So, I know, it's weird. Um, get back inside. And I sit in the den with him for a while. Leash still hooked on. And I just give him pieces of kibble. Which, next time when I do, I'm going to do the leash training properly. And use... Oh, there it is. I had suddenly lost his bag of treats, but I'll be using those. And I just felt so stupid, because I'm like, I'm already paranoid that I have just provided him a traumatic experience with a freaking leash. And just, I guess what doesn't help on top of that is that I know I don't need to be, like, so anxious around him because they can sense our energy and you can you only need to be like positive around them especially in training and I'm just getting so anxious about screwing up things which I know I can't like nothing can be perfect perfection is not a real thing and that was something that my therapist and I discussed actually this past semester I know perfection cannot be reached. I know perfection is not real. But it's like my brain is so obsessed with not wanting to screw things up with MRL. And I'm sorry guys, like... These vlogs have probably been nothing but me just freaking out about MRL. And I'm really sorry. So... I don't know. 
He still has the collar on him. He's scratched at it a couple of times, but otherwise he's been like, okay, whatever. But... Otherwise, I'm just feeling like crap. I feel like I'm doing everything wrong. I put on Instagram something about le trying to leash train him and saying why, and th one person was like, that's ridiculous. Um, I mean, they weren't being mean at all. They were saying, like, if the mom was protected and he came from a reputable breeder, then he should be fine. Walking out on grass won't kill him and all this, and just... Uh, I feel stupid. I feel like I'm being too paranoid and just I don't want to set MRL up for failure but I feel like I'm doing that by being so anxious and so worried about something happening with him and it's really getting to me I'm not really happy about it so I don't know I probably just need sleep. <laughs> oh goodness. I think the lack of sleep the past couple of nights really hasn't helped. But now I have my medication, so yay. Which I need to go downstairs and grab that after I take a little bit outside. And I'll later in the week he's gonna be going for I think he's gonna be going for his shots this week. Or next week, but I'm pretty sure it's this week. I'll call the vet tomorrow and see. And then, of course, we're going to work on leash training and work on what he already knows. And I know it seems like he's picked up a lot already. And I hope I'm not pushing too much onto him. Like, some of them are things that he's been getting over and over again. Like, sit and leave it are the main two that he gets all the time. But then we'll do separate training sessions with working on down, stay, wait, um, focus. That was today's. So, yeah. Fun times. Very fun times. I just really do not want to screw up MRL. And I feel like I'm already doing it. Goody. Yeah. So now I'm about to go grab MRL, take him outside, and get ready to go to bed probably but I'll check back with you guys later before we head off to bed so yeah hey guys I have the whole crew there's Riddler there's Emerald and there's Sassy hi baby but look can you see Emerald's new collar it is precious it's foxes and I have another one for him that is whales which here's the whale one Aren't they adorable? But he'll have to grow into that one. So, puppy's been taken out. We have, I've taken meds, got his teeth brushed, and we are about to go to bed. So, now's the time to sign up for the night and head off to bed. Right, Riddler? Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. That was Riddler shaking. Um, question of the day is tell me just a fun fact about you. What's something like what's something you want me to know about you? That just anything. Um I guess for me, a fun fact is I have been belly dancing for four years. Am I good? Probably not, but I mean, I do it anyway. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, sassy girl. I love you. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald. Good night, guys.